in this learning i will talk about missing values so whenever we do research some of the values are missing so the reasons can be different for example if we go and to collect data and one of the respondent does not want to give us information about income then the value would be missing so this way we will end up with some missing values for example here in case 3 income value is missing so there is a dash over here similarly for case 14 18 22 so these are values are missing so some of the values are missing for age for example for case 11 respondent 11 age value is missing similarly some values are missing under variable address address is missing for case 20 21 24 and so on so in total we have in this data file missing values dot sav we have in variable view we can see that there are 10 variables and there are 1000 cases so in total we have 1000 cases 10 variables and 1000 cases here yeah, 1000 cases so if i do analysis of this file for example i go to analyze i go to descriptive statistics i go to frequencies and i pick uh, suppose i first of all reset and i pick months with service and uh, then i click ok here i get that 32 values are missing for this variable tenure months with service and if I scroll down at the bottom, I can see missing system. So there are 32 system missing values. So first of all, before we start making analysis of uh, missing values, we must understand these two terms, system missing values and user missing values. So these 32 values are actually system missing values. What is meaning of term user missing values let us understand that for example i can close this and don't save it for the time being and now i go to variable view and in tenure if i type suppose i go here i pick the value 99 i call it missing and i add this one so 99 is a code now for the missing value right or i can change it a bit i can remove it and i can say 99 is missing because the guy don't knows the value don't know we add it click OK and here we can have missing value we can enter that 99 is a missing value because respondent said it is the answer that he does not know or she does not know now if I go to data view and in tenure we have made these changes and if I go to one of the cases, suppose I go to case 43, suppose, and here I enter pick, do not know. Remember in tenure, do not know means, do not know means, this is one of the missing values and we have defined it as a missing value here, 99 do not know. Now, here in this data view, some values are missing because there is a dash there is no value at all and so one value however is missing where we have entered do not know so if we go to analyze now go to descriptive statistics go to frequencies and sps has has already taken this variable has already retained this variable from last time so we just click ok and this time we get this result same thing 
there are valid 968 cases but 32 values are missing but if we scroll down at the bottom this time we see that do not know is one and system missing is 31 last time it was 32 system missing values this time it is 31 so these 31 are system missing and the one value is which where the answer is do not know that is a user missing value so first of all we understand the concept of system missing value and user missing value so this way whenever value is missing we should see whether it is a system missing value or a user missing value I will close this and come out of it for the time being I am not saving this I go back to the data file and I go back to the variable view I click here and I click on do not know I remove it and I click OK I go here and I remove this value and I click OK so we have and I go to no missing value click OK so we have no user missing value so all our values would be all our values would be system missing values so first of all this thing we have understood we have understood the difference between user missing value and system missing value so whenever we know we have missing values the thing that you should do is we should go to analyze we should do the missing value analysis so here i click and i will reset it so we have 10 variables and as this dialog box is asking quantitative variables have to be moved here and the categorical vario variables would be moved in the box down there so i am clicking on these quantitative variables which have a scale icon and bringing it into the quantitative variable dialog box so we have out of 10 six quantitative variables and then we had four categorical variables so once we have that now we can click descriptives and in descriptive i have check marked univariate statistics and click continue and come here and click OK and here is one good table for us so SPSS has calculated the missing values for us tenure has 968 n n means valid values and missing count is 32 which is 3.2 percent because we have a total of total of 1000 cases each n is 975 and missing values are 25 similarly for address 150 values are missing income 170 values are missing employment status 96 values are missing reside residence 34 values are missing marital status 115 values are missing and uh, education 35 retirement 84 and gender 80 42 values are missing and it also tells us how much percentage it is for example income is missing for 17 percent 17.9 percent of the cases so this is the basic understanding this is the basic analysis where we can get to know how many counts are missing how many cases for how many cases the value is missing for each of the variable under study
for the time being i am closing this uh, output and i am not saving it now let us go to analyze again go to missing value analysis and uh, from last time sps spss has remembered our quantitative and categorical variables we don't have to change it i click on descriptives one more time and this time i am clicking on cross tabulation and i click continue and i click ok and there is a now cross tabulation happening cross tabulation means one of the categorical variable is taken so here marital status is taken as a variable and then there is a cross tabulation with other variables income address variable income variable employment variable and retirement variable right so there is a cross tabulation of categorical variables and it clearly tells us how many values are missing according to the according to the summary so to understand this we can say that uh, married people reported address so if we correlate address with marital status 83 percent of uh, married people reported address and 85.5 percent of the unmarried people reported the address similarly it means 81.1 percent of married people reported income and 83.3 percent of unmarried people reported income so this way we will interpret the cross tabulated values similarly we can see the relationship between marital status and education in the next table so the eight ninety eight percent ninety eight percent who did not go to the school reported their marital status whereas eighty one point three percent who were postgraduate or undergraduate they reported their marital status so there is a huge difference happening here so this way this way we can do the analysis in cross tabs one more thing that we can do over here is that we can also go and do some pattern analysis this time i will go to analyze and go to multiple amputations and i will go to analyze pattern we are doing some pattern analysis i will reset it and then i will move all the variables here so in analyze across variables i want to move the all all the variables what i can do over here is click here once and uh, click a uh, hold shift and hold shift and click first variable and hold shift on the keyboard and click to select all the variables what i can do i can click on the first variable hold shift key on the keyboard and then click last variable and then click this one so this way in one go i can select all the variables so all the 10 variables have been selected for pattern analysis so we are doing the we are analyzing the pattern as you can read here and then make sure all these three options are selected summary of missing values patterns of missing values variables with the highest frequency of missing values is selected and these default values are selected i click ok here and here spss has produced this output for us so this output has three pie charts one for variable another for cases and another for values so variables are 10 over here 100 percent what does it mean all the 10 variables so this first pie chart means all the 10 variables 
has at least one missing value. So this is 100%. 100% means all the 10 variables have at least one missing values. And here the second pie chart tells us that we have 1000 cases. We know that out of that 525 cases are such which have one missing value and 475 cases are such which have complete data blue stands for complete data and this uh, dark red stands for incomplete data and uh, in the third pie chart has actually 10,000 values how come 10,000 this is cases 1000 cases times 10 variables so 1000 cases times 10 means 10,000 so there are actually 10,000 values and out of that 792 values are are missing so out of 10,000 9208 values are available so this is the pattern analysis and this summary variable uh, this variable summary table tells us only those variables which have more than 10% missing values. So marital status has 11.5% uh, missing values, years of current, uh, years at current address have 15% missing values and household income in is missing in 17.9% of the cases. So this is very interesting missing value pattern and if we say the first one pattern, the first pattern has no non-missing value. So first pattern is such where all values are available and no value is missing. And similarly, if we see pattern six here, six here, six has values which are missing for age, and six pattern has value missing for reside. Similarly, if we go down here, pattern 66 has missing value for gender, marital status, address, and income. So 66 patterns have automatically been generated and uh, these show us uh, the patterns like what groups have which variable missing so spss has uh, automatically created this pattern and this the bottom bar bar chart should be read in association with missing value pattern for example the first value pattern that we analyzed where there is no missing value that first pattern has more than 50 percent cases in that so it means more than 50 percent cases are such which have no missing value and if we go here there is a pattern 43 if we go here pattern 43 is the pattern where only income is missing so that one is here and more than 10 percent of cases are such which are in pattern 43 and income is missing over here similarly let us do one more 30th pattern so 30th pattern has t exactly 10 percent cases missing and 30th pattern is here where 30th pattern is such where address is missing right and the address is missing for 10 percent of the people and pattern 20th is such where almost eight percent of the people are there and 20th pattern is such let us go here and hover in 20th pattern you will see this is the 20th pattern where marital status is missing if we go down so this way this is analysis of missing value in next learning we will continue missing value analysis